Hi everyone. Happy Friday. So this is Kim from Kim Kim's Kitchen. So today I would want to discuss something that is very, very uh, timely. So as you can see, as the food industry evolves and new technology rises, um, some of the big food companies were able to create fake meat. And um, personally, my, my, in my, in my experience, um, and if you check the labels of these fake meat, they are usually high in carbs. They're, the binders that they use are not great for the body. They use soy, which is genetically modified and high in estrogen. They use binders like um, chemical binders, edible chemical binders, and they use unhealthy oil. So unhealthy oils. So which will basically give you an imbalanced ratio of your omega-3 and omega-6. Um, compared to eating organic meat, I'd say the ratio of omega-3 and 6 are balanced, or it's more balanced. And you want that because omega-3 and omega-6 plays an important role to our overall health and well-being. So you want a balanced ratio of omega-3 and omega-6. And if you're eating or trying to eat like a fake meat, I'd say that you're not really maximizing the benefit of, of eating meat or fake meat. You're just mimicking the, the taste, but not the actual effect or let's say the nutrients that you'll get eating an actual meat versus fake meat will be very two different things. So uh, so for me, in my experience, I'd rather eat organic meat or focus on eating local um, wild caught fishes or fish um, because it's more cheaper and it's more sustainable. So again, I always go back to how humans are connected with nature. So the, 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 the universe or the nature gives us what we eat seasonal. So I say focus on that so you don't spend too much on eating you know, organic food or organic meat. Um, and focus on eating local, local vegetables and seasonal fruits. That's the best. Um, going back to fake meat. So usually these fake meat are high in soy. So soy, I've been reading about this because um, I remember my husband mentioned about gynecomastia. So basically that's AKA man boobs so, or man boobs. So people, men in particular, who consume a lot of soy or, or yeah, abundant of soy on their diet or in their diet usually develop the man, the man boobs because of the excess estrogen. So for women, I, I'd say it's more of the hormonal imbalance, you know, your hormones become imbalanced when you when you consume food that are high in soy. So health-wise, I'd say in my experience, you're better off or I'm better off eating real meat, real organic meat and seasonal food or seasonal vegetables and fruits and um, wild caught fish. So yeah, that's it for me. You know, I have nothing against any type of diet. I mean, whatever that makes you feel happy and energized. But then again, the simpler the food, the healthier it is because it's less processed and it is something that your body can actually really recognize and benefit with. So that's it. I hope you guys are having an easy day. Again, this is Kim from Kim Kim's Kitchen. Stay happy, healthy, and safe.